Hey YouTube, Santa Frank here, and today I'm going to uh, open up a box. I I've done pretty good on um, on some uh, box openings lately, so I decided I would go pick up a second hobby box or second case of good old Leaf Pop Century. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. I'll go ahead and, and crack into this. And plus, the first case was really fun. So I wanted to give a second case try. I'm probably asking for trouble of getting a lot of duplicates, but a lot of them I still want to pull from this. And I did good enough to where in the last case and didn't get some of the ones I was wanting that I felt, I felt like going for it on a second case. Got this from Blowout Cards as well. So I'm going to number these. I'm going to do like I did the first time I did this. Uh, I'm going to number the uh, boxes and um, open the first box in this video. So this isn't just unboxing it. Um, I'm going to put a, a C1. That means it's my. This is the second piece of boxes. C2. This is the first one I just put numbers. C3. C4. Plus there's a uh, there's some individuals in the area that really like Pop Century that they bought um, an extra case and so they have some they can trade to complete collection. So there I actually have some people I can trade with on these if I do get some duplicates so not too worried about it if I get some duplicates which would be expected that's fine I have uh, people I can trade them to so, this is definitely the most of anything I've ever bought of, of a, a single product so it's kind of scary but it's going to be fun anyway. This is definitely the funnest product for me to open. And if the checklist wasn't so strong, I probably wouldn't do it. But it's a pretty deep and strong checklist. So That's my justification for buying me a second case. Oh, some boxes over back there. Okay, so we numbered all of them. I'm going to go ahead and set them up here. If we knocked all those other ones down. Alright, so I'm going to set these boxes up here. Like so. Um, kind of make us a little pop century wall back here. But this is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so we'll set these down. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the box openings that I've done of Pop Century stuff. I know some of the, the more fun videos for, for me to make. Hopefully it's fun videos for you to watch. Okay, this is box number one, as you can see there. Let's see what we get in our first box of this case. is open. And get the cards. I'll get one of these to cover the cards. Okay, there's the cards. Got an empty box. Hope I get. Uh, I'm much like the first case I opened this. I hope I get a nice one of one auto. Super Fractor, preferably, and a nice cut. So, I can always say what I hope I get. Okay, we're going to start off with, this looks like a blue classic rolls. 
Michael Imperioli starred as Christopher Moltisante in, from Sopranos. That's pretty cool. I did not get that card. So that's a new one. Um, I did get him on a, a different type of card, but not this card. That should be numbered to blue. We got a blue wave. Oh, it's the Quaker Oats guy, um, Wilford Brimley. Nice. That is pretty awesome. I definitely do not have any Wilford Brimley autos in my collection. So this case is starting off pretty good. And they're blue. That one's out of 20. Got a black auto. Robert Carradine. We did pull him, so this is going to be a duplicate. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say that every time because I don't, I don't want people... If you want to go back and watch the other videos, you can see who I got. So this one's out of 20. And our last one. Richard Dreyfus. Nice. Whoop. That one is... One out of five, low number. And the Richard Dreyfus uh, Blue Wave, seven out of 20. Now let's look at the autos, see if they're, that one's, uh, looks like it's completely on the sticker. That one is, that one is. So that, nice start too, that they are all on the sticker and all numbered. So let's see how this case goes. And no relic, so interesting start. All right, stay tuned for more videos.